Hey everybody, Knock Phoenix here. I'm going to do a quick tutorial, hopefully it's quick, uh, on using cards to do your turn order instead of the initiative dice. So here's a roll 20 game. I've got all my tokens for my people. Uh, so what you normally do is you can grab these guys and you say, hey, let's add a turn. This is really handy because it means they don't have to select their uh, person, you know, and then come to the sheet uh, and bring it up and say, okay, I'm going to roll initiative dice right and then it rolls the dice and it assigns it and the reason you need to do that is if you don't have the token selected when I say initiative dice it doesn't apply um, and you can also get a lot of duplicates this way so uh, let's clear this out again real quick and we're gonna grab these people I'm gonna add them to the turn another benefit of this is say I have a xenomorph on here uh, do, do, do. Xenomorph, let's grab the queen. No, let's grab a scout. Alright, so we all know that a scout has speed 3. So it gets to be in here 3 times. So that makes that setup right there really easy of adding its multiple speed turns. Um, Alright, so we're here to discuss the initiative cards though. So first thing, it's got 10 cards in it, as we all know. So we're going to hit show. That gives us this deck here. And then what I can do is I can hit deal as the GM, and I can say deal cards to turn order items. And boom, gives everybody a card. Um, do, 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 ascending. So we do have a couple duplicates. Um, I think there's a way to fix that. Um, I think it is the infinite one here. Um, let me save that and let's uh, retry here. Oop, no, no, no. We'll just redeal it. Uh, so we'll shuffle our deck and then we're going to redeal it to everybody. And we should not have duplicates this time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, look at that. We got all of them in place there. So uh, that actually dealt everybody out a card. Uh, we're going to hit shuffle because it used every single card. And we're going to redeal to turn order. Boom, look at that. Everybody's different. Uh, so yeah, that if you don't want it to repeat uh, because you only ever want 1 through 10, uh, it's one little setting. So let's go over this initiative deck. Uh, I'm going to put this one here. And we're going to pretend to add a new one. Where to put it? Oh, I was really hoping to see both. All right. We're going to see. Oh, it did add one. Haha. <laughs> uh, my brain's not working this morning. Okay. So if I bring up my new deck, right? So this is my example deck. Woo. Okay. So we want to show deck to players. Uh, I believe you can turn this off so that they cannot um, draw their own cards and you're just going to deal it to them. Or you can have it on. And that's neat because if it's on to draw... You can actually let them do this and click it. Boom, they drew a four. They can bring it onto the board. Um, let me hide this and this. They can drag it onto the board here uh, if you want to use this, because uh, if you use certain backs um, or fronts or whatever, uh, they have like fast action, slow action, both. So you can be like, hey, I've used my fast action. I've used both my slow and my fast, or I've just used my slow. Um, so if this is a concept you want, you can totally keep this and use that. Um, otherwise, you can just, as I said, you know, in here, turn this off. They can't draw cards like we did here. And I can show that here. Um, oh, I can draw because I'm the dealer. Oh, because I didn't save. Um, so now you shouldn't be able to draw. Nope, because I'm the GM, I still can. Okay. So anyway, uh, for the players, though, they would not get that ability. Um, okay, so we've got our new deck, we've got our initiative deck. Ah, quit stacking them. Alright, so you want to show the deck to players, you want to have uh, draw cards. If you turn this on or off, it'll let you go above 10. Um, you want to disable choosing specific cards, and then uh, you can have discard pile on or off. Uh, either way works. So then we come down, when you play, you want it face up. Uh, you want it to be considered a drawing, so that it's not a token with stats and stuff. Uh, card size, you can pick if you want, or just let it do it itself. You want to do this right here. If it's in somebody else's hand, 
then I see their number, the number of cards they have, and I see the fronts. So that's like if I drop this here, hey look, I've got this awesome deck of cards that shows up. If you use this, that's fun. Uh, but I generally don't. Um, all right, so that's that's what this uh, in other people's hands. So you can show like, hey, I know that this person has X number of cards, or and I can see what that card is or not. Now, one of the tricks for me when setting all this up was this piece right here. This is text. <laughs> I originally set this up saying one like that, and it did not work. It was complete trash, and I couldn't figure it out. But as soon as you write this out, your number, one, two, three, you know, as the text version of it, it starts to work. Um, and as you can see here, you can uh, change the image you want. Uh, just like you would um, with any other thing in Roll20. And then you can change the back image, which is what shows here. So it's it's pretty simple to set up. Um, the keys, again, are you just name the deck. You want to show it to players. Uh, if you want them to draw cards on their own, you can. Or if you want to deal it out. If you're using it for turn order, you will need to deal it out to the players in order to get it to work. Um, I haven't been able to figure it out where they can just draw their own card to get that to work. Um, most of these, as you can see, like the, the disabled and stuff, that was defaulted, that was defaulted, that was defaulted, that was defaulted. You've got your number of cards, so you would want to check these here if you're going to put them in hands. And then you just add all of these individually, so you just hit add card, give it a name, so this would be like 11 if I was going to add it, and then you add a file. Um, so that that's all there. That's all there is to it. Uh, pretty simple. Um, not a lot to it. And then once you've got it in place, as I showed, you bring up your turn order, and I can shuffle this deck, and then I can say deal this to my turn order. Run out of cards. Interesting. I swear I said to shuffle. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I should have exactly enough. Uh, let's recall all of them. Uh, shuffle after recalling. Oh, it's because I had the one in my hand. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, then, then I just say deal, and we're going to deal with certain order, and it redoes it, and I say let's go ascending. Um, this does take the ability for the players to draw their own initiative away from them, but I feel like it's a lot quicker and easier than doing um, the initiative because you have a lot of people where you end up with this, like, hey, you rolled this, but you didn't have a token selected. Uh, this card process avoids that altogether. And then again, if you're ever going to have combat where you have more than 10 turn orders, you just uh, come into here and you turn this on that it's always and you draw through shuffle repeat and that's all there is to it